Maganda ang araw sa inyo. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay operations on integers. Pero bago yan, buksan ang puso't isipan, tanggapin ang papasok na kalaman. Tara na, mag-aaral at matuto. Ano nga ba ang set of integers? Okay, the set of integers consists of the positive numbers, the negative numbers, and zero. Bago tayo pumunta sa ating main topic, pag-aralan muna natin ang ibig sabihin ng absolute value. Absolute value is the distance from 0 to the graph of a number. Thus, 4 and negative 4 have the same absolute value, and that is 4. The symbol for the absolute value of a number is the absolute value of n. We write the absolute value of 4 is equal to 4 or the absolute value of negative 4 is equal to 4. So the absolute value of 0 is 0. Ito po siya. The graph of 4 and negative 4 are the same distance from 0 but in opposite directions. We call such a pair of numbers opposites. Okay, so this one for no? opposites. Thus, negative 4 is the opposite of 4 and 4 is the opposite of negative 4. Okay, ito po siya. This is negative 4 and that is 4. So they are in opposite direction. So positive 4 is to the right and the negative 4 is to the left. Okay, so we we'll now proceed to addition and subtraction of integers. Okay, so these are the rules and ano to add two integers having the same signs, get the sum of their absolute values and prefix the common sign. Again, kapag nag-add daw tayo ng dalawang integers na magkaparehas ang sign, Get the sum of their absolute values and prefix the common sign. Okay, o tingnan natin. Okay, o tingnan natin itong examples natin. Ano po? So, we have first positive 5 plus positive 8 is equal to positive 13. And then we have negative 6 plus negative 4. That is equal to negative 10. And then the last one, we have 7 plus 9 is equal to 16. So, plus we have the symbol for positive. Para siyang plus, ano po? And then the symbol for the negative is para siyang minus. As you can see, uh, we can write positive 5 as this one or kahit wala na po itong positive na to. Tanggalin na. Like this one, for positive 7, we wrote as 7. Hindi na natin uh, kailangang ilagay yung positive. Understood na po na yun ay positive. Okay? And then, uh, to add two integers with different signs, get the difference of their absolute values and prefix the sign of the number having the greater absolute value. Okay, again, sabi nga, to add two integers with different signs, okay, pag magkaiba ang sign, ano po? Kunin daw natin yung difference ng kanilang absolute value and prefix the sign of the number having the greater, greater absolute value. No? Mas mataas yung kanyang absolute value. Okay, so take a look at our examples. Okay, so tinan natin ang mga examples. Ano? So, we have negative 10 plus 3 is equal to negative 7. So, meron tayong 10 minus 3, 7. Tapos, kukunin natin yung sign ng greater absolute value which is 10. That's why the answer is negative 7. Next, we have 15 plus negative 6 that is equal to 9. Again, we have 15 minus 6 is equal to 9. 
Ang sign ng 15, which is greater absolute value, is positive. And then we have 5 plus negative 5 is equal to 0. Okay, nakikita niyo po mga bata. These are opposite numbers. So, lahat po ng opposite numbers, ang sagot nila ay 0. And 0 has no absolute values. Okay, paano naman po kapag nagahan tayo ng hindi lang dalawa? No, kapag more than 2 na numbers o na integers. O, tingnan natin. So, kung meron tayong negative 10 plus negative 4 plus 3, okay, ang gagawin natin, i-group natin, no? Pagsamahin natin yung sign, yung number na magkaparehas ang sign kagaya po ito. Meron tayong negative 10 and then meron tayong negative 4. So, pagsamahin natin yan. Okay, o, so, tingnan natin. Ayan, so we have negative 10 plus negative 4, that is negative 14 plus 3. So ito na. So sabi natin na magkaiba ang sign pag minus yun. So meron tayong 14 plus 3, 11, prefix the negative sign, negative. Another example, kung meron tayong 15 plus 2 plus negative 9, again pagsamahin natin yung magkaparehas ang sign and that is 15 and 2. So, we have 17 plus negative 9 and that is equal to positive 8. O, 17 minus 9, 8. Ang sign ng 17 na mas mataas ay positive. Okay. So, pumunta naman tayo sa subtraction of integers. So, again, to subtract two integers, add the opposite of the subtrahend. Okay, bags, ibang ano mga batas, gawin natin na, sabi natin na, to subtract two integers, uh, change the sign of the subtrahend, and then proceed to the rule of addition. Okay, tingnan natin. Okay, o, tingnan natin itong mga examples natin. Okay, so, meron tayong 12 minus 4 is equal to 12 plus negative 4. Okay, tingnan natin ha. So, yung minus doon, papatin natin ng plus. Yung positive 4 doon, hindi ako na nilagay yung sign. Ano po? Pinawala ko na kanina. Papatin natin ng negative 4. So, we have 12 minus 4 becomes 12 plus negative 4 and that is equal to 8. Yung rules natin ng no? 12 minus 4 8. Yung sign na mataas ay positive, kaya positive 8. Another example, we have negative 15 minus negative 3. Okay, pagdala naman natin yung sign, ay no, yung minus, papalta ng plus, yung minus, ay negative, papalta ng positive 3. So, meron tayo negative 15 plus 3 equals negative 12. Another example, we have 18 minus negative 6. 18 maging 18 plus positive 6. And that is equal to 24. Magkapareha sa isa, sa isa ng sign. Kaya i-add natin. Okay po? And then we have negative 20 minus 5. Ganun din. Negative 20 plus negative 5. Magkapareha sa isa ng sign. So, same sign, keep an add. Ayun, kung ano yung sign nilang dalawa. So, that's it. Okay, o. Oh, try nyo ang sabutan nyo po, mga bata. So, ipopost muna natin. Tingnan niyo po lang ang makuha niyo. Ang, ang, ang passing dito ay 8 over 10. So, ito na yung ating sagot. Okay, o, nakuha niyo ba ang 8? Or more than 8? Let's say 9 or 10. Division and division of integers. Okay, so, 
the salaries for multiplication of integers ano po so the product of the integers with the same sign is positive kapag nang multiply daw tayo ng dalawang integers na magkaparehas ang sign the answer is positive okay Examples. Halimbawa, meron tayong 5 times 6. Ang parehas na positive, kaya ang sagot ay positive 30. Another example, we have negative 4 times negative, I mean negative 3 times negative 4 that is equal to 12. Another example, we have negative 8 times negative 7 that is positive 56. And then the last example, we have 5 times 12 is equal to 60. So, lahat po yan ay magkakaparehas ang sign. Kaya ang sagot ay, lahat ay positive. And then, for the rules for the integers with different sign is, the product of two integers with different sign is negative. Okay, tingnan natin. We have negative 6 multiplied by 8, that is equal to negative 48. Another one, we have negative 3 times 12, and that is equal to negative 36. Uh, regardless kung mas mataas pa siya o hindi. Basta kapag dalawang number, ang sagot ay negative. Another, we have 9 times negative 7, that is negative 63. And then we have negative 12 times 2 equals negative 24. Naitindihan po ba? Okay, so dito naman tayo sa isa pang rules. So, meron tayo. The quotient of two integers with same sign is positive. Okay, tinan natin. So, we have 24 divided by 8 is equal to 3. Okay, magkaparaya siya ang sign. Kaya, ang sagot ay positive. And then, we have negative 36 divided by negative 4. That is equal to 9. Any question? Another rules for division of integers, we have the quotient of two integers with different sign is negative. Okay, kapag magkaiba naman ang sign, ang sagot naman ay negative. Okay, tinan natin. We have negative 72 divided by 8 is equal to negative 9. And 35 divided by negative 7 is equal to negative 5. Okay, o naintindihan na ba ang rules natin, mga bata? Okay, tingnan natin ang isa pang exercise 14. So, meron tayo 1 to 10, up to 10. Ganun pa rin po ha? Kapag ang score ninyo ay 8, hanggang 10, pasado kayo. Okay, kapag 7, pababa, ulitin nyo na lang ito and then i-check nyo na lang ulit. Okay, tsaka natin. Okay, o oh, yan po mga bata. So, sana po marami kayo matutunan ng yung araw na ito. Thank you. Happy learning. Again, this is Madam Tina. Goodbye, class.